Bombi's just gonna be excited to not live with his parents anymore. Get his own house. This is our philanthropy work. Hey guys, I noticed that they got the dry, our passenger side completely done, stripped of the suspension brackets. So now I'm gonna go and we'll start working on the driver's side, get started at the rear, get the two rear ones pulled off, and then get the front one pulled off, and then the front, the, all suspension brackets will be done and we can start building the new suspension. So we'll get started on the rear. Well, Hillbilly was doing his side, I was just like, hey, maybe I should just kind of speed up the time and help out, because it's fun. So I'm gonna hurry and grind these. I got one almost through, I got three more, and then I'll let Hillbilly air hammer, air hammer them. <laughs> I think that means you're done. I'm done. Okay, the back on both sides is completely done. The passenger front one's done, so now <laughs> just the driver front. I don't I think Robbie thin cut around the weld and then belt grinded these and I'm just gonna try belt grinding all this and those so that way I'm not scarring the frame, because we don't need to be scarring the frame. Okay, let's see if it's gonna come off or if there's other spots that need to be grinded more. It looks that. like I still have a little bit more grinding to do, but now that I have pressure on it, as I grind, it'll start popping away. So that way I know I've gone far enough. So, here we go. Okay, let's see if it's ready to come off. Oh, it popped. Now I'll just try and hit that with the grinder and get it all flattened up, but it's off. Okay. We're building a two barrel carburetor adapter to go to a one barrel intake today. So we're gonna put a Holly racing carb on there and uh, see if we can make it run. Okay, we got the outside done. Now we're gonna, we clamped it down flat and we're gonna do the inside hole for the two barrel part. And we'll get that milled out and then we'll build the rest. See what these rims look like. What are they for? These are for the bus. You mean the rim? Fancy. Now what are you gonna do? Now I'm gonna mount these Patagonias, MT Milestar Patagonias onto these rims. So on these rims, you want to install, or uh, this new machine came up with anti-scratch guards, because you want to grab the rim from the outside like this, so I'll grab this, because if not, you'll put these teeth marks on the inside of the rim. It just looks bad. Prevent that, you hug the clamp right here, and use plastic guards. Now I just gotta get some valve stems. Okay, I have to run to Napa and get some valve stems so we can get these puppies. I installed the valve stem, so I'm gonna put some uh, lube on the tire and we'll get the first tire installed. Switched out the metal head for the plastic head so we don't ruin the rim. That's really nice and smooth compared to the old machine. And it's very quiet. You don't have air leaks anywhere like you did the old machine. The air nozzle, the old, the old machine, this air nozzle didn't work at all. But this one, let's we'll see. Oh, I see a tire raising. Whatever you do, do not get your fingers inside there because it will hurt bad. Okay, we'll put it at 30 for now. Put the cap on, move on to the next. Fit some final one. Got all those four done, this is the spare. We're back to work on the bus suspension. And we have little Lincoln, come here. Say, what's up, guys? <laughs> Say, I'm hanging out at the shop. <laughs> Say, Daddy's chilling with me today. <laughs> Dad, uh, my mom says, go out of my mom's. Hey, Dad. Yeah, your mommy went and got her hair done, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to hang out with your Robbie? Yeah. Who's Robbie? Oh, no, it's, it's, it's my Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm his Robbie. <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna be working on the rear axle today. We've gotta to get everything measured out. We gotta drill new holes. We got a mag drill. Our friends over at Milwaukee hooked us up. We're gonna use the mag drill. We're gonna str drill straight through. We're gonna get the front leaf hangers on. We're gonna figure out our center points and we're gonna get that 10 and a half Ford rear end put in here. And then we're putting on our method wheels with our Patagonias. Do we have 39 inch tires? 39s. I think we have 39s. Whoa, it's gonna be crazy. A bus coming down. The bus is cool, huh? Yeah, bus. It's, it's a bus. It's yo yo. The bus is yo yo. 
Yeah. Say, this bus is so cool. This bus is so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Say, this is my bus. It's no Star's bus. No. Say, sorry, Haley, this is Daddy's bus. This is Daddy's bus. <laughs> this is Daddy's bus. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Lincoln's going to be helping us out. We got a lot to do. But first things first, we're going to measure out our bolts. So all we want to do is slide that front hanger the correct amount of distance forward. So Hillbilly's gonna start cleaning all the oil and getting the frame all buffed to where we can actually draw on it and see our draw rings. We're not gonna worry about the rear hangers yet because those are gonna be determined off of the front spring hangers. Hey! <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta math. We gotta math this out today. Huh. Say, we're, tell the camera we're gonna math this out. So, and we're gonna try to do this all with a two-year-old. <laughs> so in case you haven't ever tried to do anything with a two-year-old, it's fun, say, say this is gonna be fun, guys. This bush was guys. Say, this is gonna be fun. This bush was the dry fish. Say, say, hanging out with daddy is fun. This, um, I need, uh, Okay, say goodbye, camera. Bye-bye. What are you doing, Link? <laughs> so I'm just working. You helping your dad? Yeah. You helping your Robbie? Yeah. Are you helping your Wobby? Yeah. Okay, let's measure this. What's Hillbilly doing? Oh, say, no. Say, Hillbilly, what are you doing? Really it. I'm cleaning the frame off all the oil from the from when we went for the road trip to California and lost all the oil. Gotta clean the frame off before I can buff it and grind it to bare metal. Hey, cool. Cool. Go give it to him. Hurry. Oh, great. Yeah. Thank you, bud. Okay, so we are 5.5 bolt pattern. We're gonna draw this out on the ground because I need some visuals. So five and a half, that's gonna be two and a half, two and three quarters is gonna be our center, huh, Lincoln? Yeah. Okay, and then say, look. Look. Our bracket is gonna go right here. Yeah. Well, that's not right. It is, I. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, huh? That is yeah. not accurate. Okay, well, so why Robbie's over there mapping and marking everything down to so we can get a visual. I'm going to grind, get the gr uh, groined, the frame grinded up so we have a nice clean surface to mark so we can see the mark on it. It's all grind up, ready to get marks put on it where we need to drill. Okay, I got the front ones all cleaned up and bare metal. Now time to grind the back ones. So I know that we'll need to find center where it needs to be on the leaf spring, so I'm gonna get these put right there. So that way when Robbie gets everything figured out down there, he knows how to measure from center of the leaf spring forward, center of the leaf spring backwards. Looking good, Hillbilly. That's right in center of the bump stop, which will be right in center of the axle. All right, so what I'm doing, I've got my center point from my plumb bob to right here. That's gonna be the center of the bolt for the leaf spring. It's 32 inches to center, got our center. I've just gotta mark out both sides. So I'm bringing my lines straight out here and then I'll start measuring off of my center to get my bolt positions and everything else. So it should just, in theory, this is just gonna slide forward to where it needs to be. We're gonna grab that mag drill. We're gonna drill our holes. Once I get it marked, I'll we'll center punch it and we won't screw it up or we will. All right, so I'll get this all marked out. I'll grab my measurements and then we'll keep going. All right, so I've got everything marked. This one is gonna interfere just a little bit with that hole, but I believe where we've got a mag drill, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna bolt in tight. We're gonna be fine. I'd rather drill through a half a hole than drill through a welded hole. Welds are just not fun to drill through. So I'm gonna go grab my center punch. We're gonna center punch these four marks, get our mag drill set up, and we're gonna <laughs> drill through it. Got my center punches. Let's get this thing drilled. Look at that. Look, hey, look at that. Do you know how to use a mag drill? Yes, I do. Not on this new, but of course. Well, I don't. My dad so, worked in a steel company. We're gonna get learned. This is gonna make it so, so easy. Look at hey, that. It looks like you use a three inch ratchet. Yeah, you could. Come on, sweetheart. We got work to do. So this is a magnet selector. So I've got it just kind of loose. So it magnetizes, but I can slide it. So we'll position it where it needs to be, then we'll lock that magnet in and drill our hole. Now, could you have done this with a hand drill? 
I don't want to find out. Now I just got to do that three more times over here, four more times in the back, eight more times on the other side, <laughs> and then we can bolt some stuff on. <laughs> All right. Well, number four is drilled. This is such a cool tool. That literally made light work of this. Okay, so I'm gonna unbolt the brake lines off the perches, because the perches need to be moved. I can't remember if they were too wide or too narrow. So I do know we gotta get them cut off get it, and so we can move them to where they need to be. And in order to do that, I'm getting the brake lines out of the way. All right, so I wanna show you guys the beauty of using a mag drill. Check this out. We laid it out, we drilled it. Stick a bolt, that is amazing. Yeah. Okay, so I'll get some washers and some lock nuts on the backside. It's like we got lock washers right here. We'll get these all tightened up and we're gonna move on to the rear. So we're gonna do it one at a time, get each side taken care of. And Hillbilly is gonna be working on the rear axle getting the purchase cut. I'm really greasy from all the oil that leaked out of the engine, but that bracket is installed. Now we gotta figure out the rear one. And so what I gotta do is I've gotta figure out where so I've got to go look at my truck and I'm going to see if that bracket goes straight up and down or how it's positioned when there's no weight on it. All right, so we've come out to look at the rear leaf hanger and it's only about two inches off center forward. So that's where we're going to set it at. So that when weight gets put on it, the spring can push back, but it's got a long ways to sweep. Good thing we had an F-350 here that we could check. Hey, let's go back in. Did you see what you need to see? Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to wheel the axle outside to cut these perches off so that way if Robbie needs to talk, it's not noisy and grinding and I don't have to stop and make it to where it's harder on both of us. And also, I sweat really bad with safety glasses on inside. So I'm going to stay cool while I do it. Because what's the point of having safety glasses if you can't see out of them? It isn't really called safety glasses at that point. Okay, one is cut. Let's hope it's all the way. We're about to find out. Looks like I have to do a little bit more cutting. Not much, just a little bit. All right, so what I gotta do now is I've gotta swing this leaf spring into place and then I'll use the stand, we'll hold it, we'll get the rear shackle, I'll get a rough measurement, then we'll drop it all back down out of the way and get some holes drilled. Now, let's we'll see what it does. Oh, it's grinded. It's cut off. Got a little bit into the axle, we can just weld that up and fill that in, but one side down, one to go. I'll try and get it off and show you guys the end result. This is gonna be the simplest of the processes that we do. So we sized it up, we've got the leaf in place. So with the rear hanger, what we did is we went and opened up the holes just a little bit because I want an M10, or it fit an M10 bolt. I wanna use an M12. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two holes in the center set of holes from the factory. We're gonna center punch the front, drill those, and that's gonna be perfect for our leaves. It's almost like they knew that we were gonna put a BDS lift kit on this. Oh man, the Sonex bus is coming along awesome. Hopefully the rest of it goes good like it's going. So I'm gonna get these tightened up because I want it to be in its final position before I use the transfer punch to get my center. Oh no, no, there's a, a second frame rail in there. So I gotta try to, oh yeah. Oh. I got it. Hey, I'm in. Okay, let me hold. In like sin. All right, so just like we wanted, check this out. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, that's all the way forward, blah, blah, blah. But you gotta remember, this is unweighted. So once we get spring compression, this is gonna straighten up. It's gonna stand up tall, at a tension, just like we need it. So what I need to do now, this has gotta come out of the way. This out of the way, um, and then we will, I'll show you. I got transfer punches from our buddies over at Harbor Freight. All right, so we got these transfer punch set, and we got our new Icon 32 ounce hammer. Let's test this baby out. So the theory behind these transfer punches is you get the same size as the hole, so it gives you a straight through transfer, and then you got a center point. So let's find, okay, so see how that is? That's tight. So all I gotta do, put my transfer punch up in there, got it in the hole. I have a perfect center punch. That was awesome. Everybody needs a set of transfer punches. Now I didn't come up with these ideas. Sean had a set of transfer punches and I got a little jealous, so I got a set of them. Let's put the other rear shackle on and then we'll be able to get those two knocked out. Then all we have is one. Because yeah, it'll be you know easy. The, yeah, you yeah. know how easy it is. Yep. So we'll do that. Two. 
All right, so we just ran into a little bit of an issue. So this side has a gas tank in the way. I'm gonna punch these, we'll drill them, and then Hillbilly's gonna go ahead and drop this side of the tank so we can get our hands up in there and do what we gotta do. All right, we got this one all drilled. So we kind of did it crisscross applesauce style. We jumped over to this side, got ahead of ourselves. All right, so that one fits. Now, like we were saying, gas tank's gotta come down so we can get that bolted in. So we sent Hillbilly to lunch. I'm gonna go to lunch here in a minute and Hillbilly is gonna come back, undo that to where we can get that bolted in. Now, we'll hurry and drill the two bolts on the other side, make sure that's right, and then we're off to lunch. Then right after lunch, all we have to do, this side bracket, and we get the leafs in. Then we start getting this built. If you guys didn't check it out, we've made a video on setting up these axles. So make sure you check that video out. And if you wanna see a more in-depth how-to, head over to Onyx Off-Road's YouTube channel. They have an elite how-to series going on right now where they show you in-depth how we're doing the gear set in this axle. And it's pretty informative. So if you like that stuff, go check it out. Otherwise, stay here, because we're here for your entertainment needs. The rear hanger are done. So now, now all we gotta do, and actually I can bolt up this side. So we'll hurry and bolt this side up. This side will be done. We'll throw the leaf on and then we'll go to lunch. But the other side, we just have to drill out the front hanger, put that on and that'll be done too. All right, the moment of truth. We gotta make sure this all fits too. It's going right in. So I'm gonna call that a win. So we are four for four. Okay, I'll get some washers and some nuts on the backside and we'll get this all put in. We're not bolting the leaves in tight. We're just pushing it into place. <sighs> okay, now you're gonna notice that we're about two inches off of center. Now, the reason we did that is we're gonna open this wheel arch because we have 39 inch tires. So if we go center to center, that tire is gonna be like real tight. So we brought it forward so we have room at the back and we're gonna bring this front arch forward. Not in today's video though. Look at it as if we knew what we were doing. How wonderful. Okay, it's time to go to lunch. So we're headed to lunch, we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm putting the tank back up. And the reason I'm putting it back up is because we had to drop it down so I can get behind and put nuts on the back side of these bolts because there's no way to, I can't touch them. And the top is just as tight. So the only way to get to the nuts is put the tank sag a little bit. So I got the nuts put on, it's all tightened. So now I'm just buttoning up the tank and then this back mount will be done. All right, so I'm just transferring all my measurements from the other side. I've got my center point. I'm 32 inches off of the center to here to the center of my bracket. So we're gonna do just like we did on the other side. Get all four holes center punched. We're gonna mag drill them, get that bracket on, get this leaf hung. Then we're putting the axle in. So we're gonna hurry and do that. We're not gonna waste your time showing you the exact same steps from the other side. We're gonna start working on getting this rear end. Our goal is to have this rear end mounted and tires on so we can at least see what the rear is gonna look like. The front is gonna be way more complicated, but we've gotta get this back done before we can do the front. Well, our luck has officially run out. We got one hole right here that we can't get the mag drill into because of this unit right here. So we're doing it the old fashioned way. All right, we got this bracket on. We're gonna get some washers and nuts behind it, get it tightened up. And that way, spring! That just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> one more bracket done. I'll tell you what. That mag drill, that was the, the real MVP of the day. All right, and before the internet comes at us, we know that this bolt has to come towards the outside and the nut pack goes there. But for movie magic reasons, we're not putting that bolt in the right way right now. So we have to snug these up a little bit because to get an accurate reading, you can't have it flopping. So we are 48 and 7 eighths, center to center. What is the center of the perch? That's where we got to be. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark in there. All right, now let's go to the other side and then we'll check center to center. Okay, we have those where they need to be. Now what we're going to do, obviously we're going to roll it in. We're going to set it down, get it where we need it, adjust the pinion. I think we're going to set it at like five or 10 degrees and and then bolt it. And actually, once we get weight on this. Yeah, then we can. It will kind of like this, move backwards a little bit because it's solid up front, so it might be closer to center and we might not have to trim those. Where were you for our conversation an hour ago? That's why we didn't move it. Seriously, stop. 
He was outside cutting. Yeah, that's literally why it's still there. <laughs> but at least you cut. An hour ago, I was at lunch. Your space could, yeah, you were space cadetting at lunch. So we want to have this at like 80. That'll set us at 10 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust our little lock out right here. One click down. Hey, All right, so I decided that 15 degrees is plenty. That way when it starts to flatten out, pinion will move. We're going to go to a carrier bearing. Everything's going to work out just fine. But anyway, we're going to bring this down, start figuring out where the perches are going to go and get them tacked. So what I'm doing is I'm making that center pin go inside its home. We've got a little nubby there that needs to come off, but we're still right on my mark. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if we should put the leaf, or I mean the U-bolts on. We couldn't have done that any better if we did it on purpose. Hi. Hi. We let her take the day off. We babysat. It's not babysitting on the year cake. And I didn't even forget to go get Adley from school. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. It's only got that up. call. That's not true. Yes, it is. Don't try to I act in front I, of the camera. I called you and then I had to call Colton. That's not the truth. Poor little Adley. <laughs> she had a lot of fun in the office at the school. Hi. She, her and her teacher ate M&Ms. Hi, Mom. Are you coming to get me? Shh. I've been waiting here for a really long time. <laughs> Adley was waiting for hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was only 15 minutes, but still. So anyway, this is the degree that we want to know. So we're 4.4 degrees on that. I think I want to add about five degrees. We're leaving it there. We're going to weld those perches, drop it down, fully burn them in, and we're going to bolt this rear end in. All right, so I'm going to get these spring perches tacked on, then we'll lift the bus back up, weld them in solid, and bolt this for good. Got it! We're gonna lift this up a little bit. I'm gonna pull that rear end out, weld it, and put it back in. All right, so I'm gonna get this put back in it. Slow down, a little more, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Right there, hold it. All right, so we have the perches right where we want them. Now, we're gonna get the U-bolts all set and get these things snugged up and get this stand out from under here. Hillbilly's making fun of me because I'm gonna use a crow's foot for the first time in my whole entire life. Ooh. Well, I'm going to tight. I think we've already seen an issue. We may end up needing to run some spacers on the back of this, but we're going to check. Five. How do we get that the first shot? No way. And there's room. Looks goofy. It looks so goofy. But it's not hitting the leaf like I thought it or would. Or the caliper, which is very close to that. Here. All right, so we had a spacer, just one. We don't know where the other one is, so we set it. We pulled it off, put it on, because we want to see what it's going to look like with a two-inch spacer. Whoa! So I think a two-inch spacer is what this needs. That looks a lot better. We'll hurry and tighten this up. We're going to throw the other side on, too, just so we can see. Now, if you have the Onyx Elite membership, you can get discounts on stuff like Method Wheels. Save yourself a lot of money. All right, we're bringing this down to set the back on its own weight. Oh, there we go. We're down? Yeah. All right. All right. We got a special treat for you. Okay. The weather's turning. A little crappy out here. We've been letting Bombies spend a lot of time indoors. Little Bombies been crapping everywhere. We're not okay with that. So today, we're taking a break from the bus. And you know what we're going to do? That's right. We're going to build Bombi his own little cat palace. Pew, pew. So we got our woodworking shop set up here. We got our Milwaukee dust extraction center with our table saw. We got us a chop saw. Look at this. We're gonna build us. We're gonna build us the most cool cat house you've ever seen. And we decided, after talking further with Colton, because Colton has cats at home, we're gonna build Bombi's house above ground. It's gonna be like this tall. Like dig a hole before and put it underground. No, we're gonna put it on the pavement. <laughs> and then maybe we'll talk about getting a covering for it at some point, who knows. But anyway, first things first, let's go to Hermanson's and let's go get all the wood. Dave will be so excited. We're there. We're raising the cat house off the ground. We need something really sturdy, like some four by fours. Whoa, whoa. This cat has no clue what it's in for. <laughs> gonna be living high on the hog here pretty quick. Um. We're gonna post this up so nobody messes with Bombi. Nobody's messing with this. Cat with neighborhood watch. Yeah, very mm -hmm. cool. We got roof thingies. No soliciting. We got four cans of discontinued paint. 
it's gonna be a pretty cat house. I think we need shingles and siding. Well, that's another day. Look, Aww. we're gonna take this thing serious. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah, that's right, look. This is your new house. I know it doesn't look like much. <laughs> oh, you're mad about it? Come here. do it. You go, buddy. Here. All right, so today, welcome to Colton and Robbie's cat house building show. What about me? Oh, Damry's here too. So we have a supervisor. Don't you need some safety glasses? Don't you have something better to do than no. yell at me? No, I don't. See if you cut like but. <laughs> All right, so we're building a two foot by two foot square cat house. Bombie's gonna have four square feet of paradise. <laughs> the back of our carpentry truck. <laughs> we got some nailers. We can do some nailing. First thing first, when you do a construction job, you wanna make sure you have everything on your tailgate so you look, <laughs> you look the part. We got our studs all marked out. Three inches short. You know, two by four isn't actually two by four. It's an inch and a half. You'd know that if you were a carpenter. All right, I don't know where we're gonna do this at. <laughs> Should we do it on the ground? Yeah. Let's do it on the ground. No crack. Nobody, nobody cares about that. We might as well go build houses now. Yeah, oh yeah. Right? But then we would only start the house. Should we go build? Yeah, we only start <laughs> houses. That's the problem. Yeah. Isn't that perfect? It's teeny. It's literally a cat. Where's Bombi? Go find the cat. <laughs> yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh Here's yeah. Stick. It won't even fit a, a cat bed in it. Yeah, it will. No, it won't. Look, that is. I really feel like that's a perfect size. So we compromised. We're going two and a half foot by two foot. Let's build this base. We just gotta build some side walls and then the front wall is just gonna be sheeted. Is this more like it? Is this a good cat house? Yep. Bombay. Yeah, we're going on 14 inch centers. That's a real sturdy, healthy base. I think we need to sheet it. We need to sheet it because then we can build walls. Yeah. 31 by 36 and a half. That's a normal size. It's gonna be the best cat house ever. Are you excited, Bombi? Bombi's so happy. He said yes. First tape measure. I lose everything. If with my hands, if my hands weren't attached to my arms, I'd lose that. Colton. Yeah. 31. And then we're gonna we're gonna chalk in it. <laughs> For real man. Real man of change. You snapping it? Got it? Wow. My brother's really good at this, so that makes me good by default. Now we got 36 and a half. Storm's coming in and Bombi's gonna be getting cold. Oh, and then we're gonna have to mark our center so we can put nails in the center. Oh, yeah. God, now I hear thinking. Wow. Okay, what we want to do though is we want to snap the line. And we want to square it up first. For being my first time, you that's square as can be. Working. Perfect, that's plenty. All right, now we need to, here, do your center. And you guys thought we couldn't fill the cat house. <laughs> that's so Bobby knows where the middle of the house is. That's so solid. No, that <laughs> must hit that. That knot. must have hit that knot. Oh yeah, that's fine. Lateral damage. We got this. This is the back wall. Okay. Wait, why is it littler than the wall? Because we're gonna put a wall here. See, I told you I was thinking. So first I thought we needed ten that were twenty-one inches. Then I thought we needed eight, but I'm pretty sure we only need six. Once we sheet it. Oh yeah. No, that's right. I'm right. All the real carpenters of this world are going to be freaking out right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Why? Because this is not how you do it. They Neighbors loved do. our car. <laughs> now we got to cut two more studs like this. We'll have the other wall. How are you going to do the entrance? I don't know. Like a curved? <laughs> I don't know yet. Or like a not a whole wall all the way. Bombi, what do you here want here? We should do like like Kick you it. know like the dog doors. <laughs> now that we got a floor, we can. 
We can lay our wall out like like real men. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Because they, they lay out walls on the floor. Oh. Yeah. Yep, that's so we can connect the back walls to each other. We'll brace it. I just can't. <laughs> we'll brace it. it up. You know exactly what's up. Sean would be so proud. My brother, Sean. See? And then, oh crap, I messed up. The top's supposed to go over top of them all. No, you're supposed to put a second one. Yep. We don't want to do that, do we? No. That's a lot of work. Well, this. Yeah, we don't need that. Why do I, cl I close my eyes like I'm scared of it or something, but I'm not. Let me recombobulate it. You can never... I got, I JK. questioned myself. Never question yourself. You set my, my upright. Oh yeah. That's tight. Rolling. Now that's framing. Are we out of nails again? Give me more nails. Look at it. Wait, yeah, yeah, let's tie in the tops. So we'll tie this in, tie that in, and then we can... How much of a pitch are we gonna run? Dude, like a... It's gonna be so big. Because you, you could cut a hole, you could sheet the top and cut a hole so we can go up inside. So you can hide. Yeah. All you gotta do is a hole, yeah. Yeah, so like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Cut a hole and then just so hop dude, let's just in sheet. the top. You can get up here. Yeah. And then So should that be our next move? Sheet sheet it? Yeah. And then cut a hole. We're going 31 by 26. So here's our thought process. We're putting upstairs the Bombi. So he can come right here and and then he'll have his bed up here. That way, like dogs and bears and werewolves and stuff won't be able to get the cat while he's upstairs sleeping. You're right up in here. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. <laughs> Perfect. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a cat. Yeah. Cat will support that all day. I could sleep on that. Now we need a little piece here. So it's even. One side done. Daddy's building death. Yeah, daddy's building death. Gotta figure out our roof line. Yeah, I kind of want to build a house it's on a wooden car. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. That is so good. So perfect. All right, our last cut for the roof section. So I'm gonna have to get Colton's help. He's gonna have to hold it back here. You guys are just gonna have to see the end result. He's gonna be living the teenage dream. Bombi's just gonna be excited to not live with his parents anymore. Get his own house. This is our philanthropy work. That's solid as it gets for a roof structure. So we decided to only insulate Bombi's upstairs because we don't want him to get too hot. So we want him to have a summer home downstairs that's you know not insulated and then his winter home upstairs that is insulated. So we're getting it all insulated, but we're interlocking it. Then we're nailing the insulation in. So we're using some nails, keeping it all nice and right. Putting one more piece, then we'll sheet the outside, then we're gonna put the face in, in the back, we'll sheet it, and Bombi gets to have a new home. He's so excited. But little Bombi's been over here the whole day, checking in on us and making sure that we're doing his house right. You know, just really being a part of the process. All right, we're gonna put a nail in this so it doesn't move. We just put a nail in that so it doesn't want to fall in. That's it. Now, let's cap it. Now we are going to roof it at some point. It'll be fine. Everything's going to be just fine. Lincoln, should we see if Bombi fits in his cat house? Yeah. Say, all right, where's Bombi? It's Bombi. Say, yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. It's Bombi. We need Bombi. See? Kitty's going to love it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kitty's going to love it. I think we got the back all situated, hopefully. Close. We need to trim it a little bit. Actually, 
How to flip it around. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, we gotta do insulation. Oh yeah, good thinking. Okay, we gotta insulate it and then the back will be done. This is gonna be the back, but look at that. How's that for some precision? That's money, dude. So what I'll do, I'll throw a couple nails just to hold it. That was a knot. Pull that nail out. We're full blown carpenters now. Time for the magic. Back of the cat house is officially installed. One more piece. Where is Bombi? We never tested it. We gotta make sure Bombi fits before we cap it. Yeah. Hey, come check out your house. Come on. Get some kitty food in there with you. Bobby, go check it out. Bobby! 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 I'm behind the cat Whoa! Here he comes. Hey, look! He likes it. Oh, <laughs> Bobby, you like your new kitty house? Do you think he likes it, Lincoln? Yeah! I like it. We're gonna see if Bobby likes upstairs. Bombi, where are you? Hopefully this cat isn't bigger than eight inches by eight inches. That's all she's getting. So he gets to be, he gets an eight inch by eight inch opening. Diddy, your house is done. You wanna see your house? All right, so this is Bombi's first time see, <clears throat> Bombi's first time seeing his new crib. We're gonna do a Cribs edition Bombi style. Ooh, look it, look. What do you think, bud? What do you think? Oh, Bombi loves it. He's just a little nervous. He's just a little, a little food, shy. Man. Need some kitty food? Oh, oh he's wanting to play. He's trying to snatch your hand off. See? You real thanks, Colin. That's more where that came from, buddy. Okay. Bombi knows where his house is at. There you go, Bombi. All right, so we spent the entire day building a cat house for this little cat. That's that. Bombi's happy. We're happy. All right, so we're getting one step closer to having this bus out of our life and having it to where you guys can see it at Onyx Off-Road events. So if you guys haven't already, make sure that you download Onyx Off-Road. Get yourself the free basic, the premium, or the elite membership. Just, you know what? Just get it. That's all we're saying. Get on X, because they're awesome. And this is their bus, and we like them. So as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one. Ha <laughs> ha